<laughs> Welcome to Absolute Legends. I am Bob Fritz. I am Pete. I am back. It is another weekly rotation. It is another week down. It's going mental. At this rate, we'll soon be talking about Christmas because summer is pretty much done and dusted. It's coming to the end. end. This is from the 5th of August all the way through to the 11th. So the weekly rotation. And these are more the unloved breaks from the houses. Um, they're pretty much underrated. They're not really loved by many people. However, I do feel you should give them a bit of a chance. So as always, let's crack on this week. Let's talk about some unloved, beautiful fragrances. Right, we start out the week in 2014. And from a house that is, quite frankly, is beloved by a lot of people. Um, it's in the world of niche, but this one doesn't really get any love. It is a unisex one. It is Galloway, and it's came out in 2014. And this is all about... It's very clean, soapy, easy to wear. Um, it kind of reminds me of a dulled down version of Prada Lom, if that makes sense. It's got lots of musk, citrus in, orange blossom, iris in here. It does smell fantastically well. Criminally underrated. I do think that anyone could pull this one off. It just leaves like a warmish day, like a late spring into summer day. This works perfect again this time of year. This cannot go wrong. Doesn't perform brilliantly, I get seven hours out from that, but again, they're kind of a fresh fragrance, so I don't expect miracles. I don't expect massive performance, unless they've got embroxing and all sorts in there, then I would expect a bit more. A really nice one, criminally underrated one, and to be quite honest, it started out the week well, so we start off with Puffins the Mali Galloway. Right, coming into Tuesday, and again, it's another massive niche house. I've absolutely some bangers in here, but this one came out in 2018 and it's so criminally underrated. <clears throat> Excuse me. It really does deserve a lot more love. Now, it's kind of a freshen up barbershop style fragrance, which is completely fine with me. My house and shining, this is B612. Criminally underrated, it does smell amazing, and it's mainly because of that note of lavender. It does smell fresh, it smells easy to wear, great little number. Also got some cardamom, some cedar, it's just vanillic notes in here. Sweet, it smells great. And if you can see, I've had a quite a good old hit in mine. So again, just proves I do wear my fragrances. Criminally underrated and to be honest with you, I think more people should try and wear this. It's not for the fact that it's hard to wear, it's just I don't think people even know about it. Especially when you've got Habesha, uh, Arnie, uh, Finding Flames, all with the new X versions of this. This one kind of got lost in the pack, to be honest. Massively underrated, and I think it should be worn by a lot more people, especially over 25. It's a great one. So from Tuesday, it's the Nishani B612. Right, Wednesday, and this was a year later from that. Um, this is also from a house, it's pretty much unknown unless you're in a fragrance community. And this is an absolute cheapy gem. This one about 30, 35 pounds. From the house of Lolita Limpica, this is Green Lovers. This again is a beautiful, sweet, minty, fresh, sexy fragrance. Great for the swimmer. So for me, it is all about that mint, but it's also got a nice hit of gin and juniper in here. Green Mandarin, again, it's those fresh notes that you really want in this warm weather. You don't really need to go like stupid, but this one is a criminally, criminally underrated fragrance. I think it's still about, I don't think it's any more like 30, 35 quid for a 100 ml bowl. I have to say the presentation of this looks really nice. they have got like a cut glass in this, which looks really, really cool. Massively underrated, and I don't think many people in the fragrance community even remember this, so if you're wearing this, this is certainly a head turner. It's certainly different to what you're normally expecting. Not the typical norm. Great little number. From Wednesday, I was wearing something rather fun and sexy. It's Lolita Limpica Green Lovers. Right, coming into Thursday, and again, it's came out in 2016. This was, was a hype beast back in the day. I mean, I'm saying about three, four years ago, this, you could not go on a YouTube channel without this fragrance being talked about. 
now it's kind of fading off the background but i'm bringing it back just for you today uh this from the house another house that's not really known unless you're into the fragrance world zetica voltaire this is him this is a beautiful sexy vanillic fragrance and it does flipping punch out in the air oh it is so sweet but so nice and it works amazingly well on my skin but black pepper and grapefruit off the top which gives it that kind of that um long dna where you've got that freshness but that spiciness with it was worked phenomenally well incense sandalwood and vanilla this is such an amazing fragrance again it's not over the prop top price i think it's still about 40 quid last time i checked not over the top expensive and to be honest with you it will garner some attention quite easily great little number from thursday this is zoltak and voltaire this is him right coming into friday and this one again kind of got lost in time it's kind of sad really but the opening to this is fantastic especially if it's a hot day massively underrated now one of the flankers to this is just head and shoulders above it i don't see why people don't like this one more from 2009 this is john varvedos artisan Yes, the original artisan, this is a 125ml bottle, and I've got to test this so I don't have a cap. I'm cheap. I am cheap. I can't say any more than that. But it's all about tangerine, oranges, ginger. It's just so fresh off the top. It's absolutely outrageous. It should be arrested for smelling this good. And I also, artisan pure um, is a great one, but for me, I think this is slightly better than Artisan Pure. Reason being, it's got, Artisan Pure is a bit more floral, more things. This is fruitier, more fun, more playful in my books. Ginger, lavender, even some woods in here. Smells fantastic. And well, last time I checked, I think it's still about 40 quid for a 125 ml bottle. Could be a bit cheaper. If you find a good deal on this, it is well worth scooping a bottle. And quite frankly, look at the bottle. How nice is that? Apart from the cap, we'll not talk about that. But this one, great little number from Friday. This is John Varvados, artisan. Right, coming in from yesterday. This one is an absolute cheap as chips fragrance. I think this, well, my size was a gift set, so it was like very cheap, but I got a 40 ml bottle. Now I think even a 100 ml bottle of this, it's about 12 quid. So we're talking cheap here. And it's from the house of David Beckham, and this is, Classic blue. Now I've only just started trying this one. I'm actually quite impressed with this one. It is an easy wearing fragrance. It's nothing complex. I've got to be honest with you. So for me, it is kind of like a shower gel freshness, but hearted up a little bit, if that makes sense. So there's apple in here, pineapple in here, which gives it a beautiful, fresh, fruity feel to it. Violet, which also gives that freshness which you kind of like cashmere and a bit of moss in here does perform pretty well i get six and seven hours off my skin for a budget friendly fragrance that is ridiculous great on so again i've only got a 40 more box it was a gift set so i just got that with a bit of shower gel which cost me about 12 quid i'm not going to complain about that it's a great little number criminally underrated and so if you want to try and have a budget friendly starting up to a fragrance world fragrance can um can collection try david beckham classically blue right and we end the week with a new release from 2024 now i'm still in two minds about this fragrance i sort of like it but i sort of don't and i'll explain why from the house of yves Saint Laurent, this is why Le elixir i do like it i think it smells great however i don't like the price point and i don't like the fact it's a 60 ml bottle and it's nothing groundbreaking but i do think it smells great i can't argue with that but for me i think they could have done something better with it to be honest i think they should have kept the dna i think if they're going to do something bold with it they should have changed something completely they've just kind of wrecked this one a little bit and it happens yeah no one's going to get it right every single time but for me it's not the best it's got lavender geranium 
So let's go some frankincense and oud. Now I don't really sense there's a lot of oud or frankincense in this. It's kind of tame. It's not like animalic on this. It was a bit of a cooler day, so that's fine. But I was still trying to see how it went. Do think you can wear this any time and place in the web, but I think you're better off with getting with one of the other flankers, maybe like Puff Farm, you get EDP, even Y Live, to be honest. This one is whatever for me. I kind of can take it or leave it. So, not a great one, but I still wanted to try it out. It goes decent performance, got eight hours off my skin. So, that's why I tried to say from today, this is Eason Ron Y Elixir. Right, there you have it, another week in the box, and as always, let me know in the comments what you've been rocking, how you've been enjoying your fragrances this week, and is there anything that I maybe should be looking for? Because I love hearing from you guys, because quite honestly, there are so many fragrances out there, you could lose your mind, to be honest, and I think quite a few of us have. Um, but as always, if you want a top 10 list, a phrase view, or a question, hit me up in the comments. I'll also have my links to the uh, TikTok and uh, Instagram links and if you want to join me there that'd be amazing as well and I post there pretty much every other day at the moment so um, and as oh, oh and actually if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button join the massive bunch of legends that you are and let's keep growing this channel to get 2,000 subscribers and I will do a beautiful giveaway for someone who absolute legends and as always you absolute legends Smell amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.